So I got out from school early today because our school doesn't have air conditioning and it's been really, really hot out. And I decided to spend the extra time I had today to sit alone in my room talking to a webcam. Yeah. So I don't really have one long story to tell this week, but I do have several short ones because I cannot go three days without messing something up. So I almost broke the xylophone this week. That's because I have to drag the xylophone out to the field every day for band practice. And the xylophone has a wheel that has a tendency to fall off when you hit the smallest bump, except I was not yet aware of this. Plus, I have a really bad habit of cogitating while doing things. Cogitate. To think carefully. To consider intently. Or to meditate. There's nothing written on this. Basically, it means I space off a lot. See what I did there? You see? I use big words to make myself seem more intelligent than I act. Yeah. Yeah, I space off all the time, like when riding my bike, that ended badly. And when I'm in the hallway, like I run into people in the hallway all the time. There is a reason I cannot text and walk at the same time. I would cause like a 20 person pile up probably, and that would not be good. Anyway, so I was dragging the xylophone out to the field and I was spacing off and not paying attention and I hit a small bump and the wheel falls off and I feel the xylophone start to fall sideways. And you know how in movies when someone's about to get run over by a bus or something, they just stand there and they're like, oh my god, I'm about to get run over by a bus. Well, it's kind of like that, except it was more like, oh my god, the xylophone is gonna hit the ground and burst into a million pieces. But luckily, I come to my sense of the last moment and I grab it right before it hits the ground. So I saved it, but there was all these upperclassmen around me. And as I was trying to put it back together and finished getting it out to the field, I thought they were like judging me, like kind of like uh, stupid freshman. So that happened. So the other day my mom asked me to ride my bike down to Fairway to buy a sweet potato and I did because Fairway really isn't that far away from my house. But when I got there I was in the vegetable section for like 20 minutes and I could not find sweet potatoes no matter what I did. Like I found every other vegetable you could think of, even some like weird Mediterranean thing that I didn't think people in Iowa knew existed. I could not find sweet potatoes and it was getting really, really frustrating. And then I saw an employee standing next to a large container of yams and I go up to him and I'm like, Sir, do you sell um, sweet potatoes here? I can't seem to find them. And he's like, Um, yams and sweet potatoes are kind of the same thing. And I'm like, So after spending 20 minutes at Fairway, I get the stupid yam and I come home and my mom's like, what took you so long? And I'm like, well, I didn't know because yams and sweet potatoes are the same thing. Then the next day I was in Spanish class and I decided to Google search if yams and sweet potatoes were the same thing because, you know, that's what you do during Spanish class. And Google said they weren't. So either the guy at Fairway you lied or the internet lied. Which do you think is right? So my last story of this video, I guess, is I started wearing makeup last week. And you know, there shouldn't be anything unusual. I'm 15, you know, I want to cover up my insecurities. But I found a way to mess that up. I wasn't entirely sure how to put on mascara because I don't have like um, sisters or like a mom that wears makeup. So I was really confused about that. And I was like an inch away from the mirror, like just trying so hard to like get it on my lashes, like not on my skin. And I stabbed myself in the eye and it hurt like really bad. So I like, I'm holding my eye and I jerk my hand away and it smears down the front of the mirror and my dad walks by and he sees me holding my eye and he sees the black smear and he's like this doesn't surprise me you see that's the type of person i am i don't even surprise my parents when i screw up so this video is winding down but i have one last thing to add before i go remember how a few videos ago i was making fun of high v combos well, there's something I forgot to add to that. These are the jumbo plus size cotton balls, which means they are even bigger than triple size.